people, um, sharing free love with each other. Uh, it was a kind of a free love manifesto uh, in those days. There, there was a movie that came out, I forget if it was in the 70s, based on it. There, there were other, yeah. Do you suggest a solution to this entitlement? Well, the only, the only um, solution uh, would be to recognize that it's a vice, it's not a virtue. <coughs> when you look at the DSM-4 and the DSM-5, they, they mention entitlement as being connected with narcissism. A sense of entitlement, especially a sense of overweening entitlement, is, in, is connected with narcissism. So when you look at it from a moral perspective, uh, that's, that sense of entitlement is um, destructive to personal growth and character. If, if, you, if you develop it, on the contrary, a sense of humility, a sense of meekness, recognize maybe I'm not entitled to as much as I think I am. And if you keep working on that, you might eventually become a saint. You know? saying to each other, let's break up the family. But the effect of, of their tinkering is to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if that is the effect, and that seems to be what they're saying, don't bother her until, such as, for example, the Brad Kramer Time uh, magazine uh, with the picture of just the couple and no kids at all, Yeah. then how do they expect to have replacements for the people that die off? Or do they, 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 they really don't. But, and this is something I discussed in a talk a couple of years ago. They don't want they, they would much rather see the population go down to about 10% of what it is currently. Yeah, they'd or rather less. see it die out and just replace with robots or something? Well, no, no. What, they're, what, they, what they believe is that the, um, the use of resources, the world's resources, is unsus unsustainable. And um, faced with their calculations, uh, which I would call postmodern Malthusianism, um, basically they're saying to each other, you know, we have to do something to make life sustainable. And what that may mean is pretty drastic. You know, and maybe not all elites think that way, but an awful lot of them do. I think that, uh, you know, the French revolutionaries themselves and the modern population controllers like Bill and Gates and Melinda Gates seem to think that only one third of the population should be around the well, one third, depending on who you talk to or who you, who you, you know, whose stuff you read, you may find one third or one tenth. Who knows? Could be the world population isn't really the problem. It's the wastefulness of the way people are using the things that they do have. Well, that certainly affects. Uh, making use of yeah. what we have, they yeah. That's throw that, away. Yeah, that affects a lot of things. Obviously, there's. There's a certain economy of um, the use of resources which we, sh we should pay more attention to. But a lot of resources are actually there um, to be exploited and to, and to support larger populations. And it's all in how you manage it. But I was reading in a magazine that almost a third of the wastefulness in America could be almost everyone here in America if people wouldn't be so wasteful. It would very well be. And people, of course, feel entitled to waste. <laughs>